I've been flying FPV for two years and I've been lucky enough to take my drone and my GoPro all around the world. During that time, I think I've found the very best settings for a GoPro. So today's video, I'm gonna share with you all of those settings, let's get into it. We'll go through these super quickly so I'm not wasting your time and you can get these settings uploaded and ready to go. You better hurry up then. On the new GoPros, you want to be shooting in a resolution of 5.3K at 8x7 or 4K at 8x7. It's called open gate and it'll allow you to get both vertical and horizontal video in one shot shoot in the highest resolution possible this gives you the most freedom in post-production frames per second i shoot personally at 25 frames per second most people will shoot on 30. the next thing is lens we will use a wide lens then hyper smooth we will turn off this is because we use post-production stabilization we will not have a timer if you have 10 bit i suggest you keep that on that will allow you to use prores in post-production the next thing is bitrate we want to keep the bitrate on high after that is shutter speed now if we look back up at the top we are using frames per second of 25 therefore we want to double the second number as a minimum for our shutter speed so because we shot at 25 frames per second we want a shutter speed of 1 over 50 or depending on the conditions 1 over 100 this i do sometimes to reduce what did he say because sometimes blurriness is not what you want in your image which is not really very cinematic but sometimes that's the preference that i choose to use iso min and iso max I always keep it at ISO min 100 and ISO max 100. White balance. Now white balance is something that you need to choose on the day depending on where you are, what time of day, the seasons, etc. Just adjust the white balance until the picture looks natural. This is something that's really important for you to get right in the beginning. Otherwise, it will ruin your chance at color grading correctly in post-production. I keep this at 5,500 Kelvin and I change it when I need to. Sharpness, we will have on low. The next is color. This is where you can choose Choose how much information is already baked into the image for gopros the gopro sort of look is the vibrant look natural is a little bit toned down saturation and then flat most of the saturation and most of the contrast taken out so you can change that in post-production we choose flat because we have learned how to color grade links to the color grading tutorial in the description these are my settings what i find to work the best here are all the settings so you can pause the video so you've always got these with you now let's talk about post processing your gopro footage this footage Footage will be unstabilized so it will look really shaky it will look really unpleasant to the eye and I'll give you two options one of them is completely free and the other one comes at a cost option one the free option is called gyro flow I will leave a link in the description down below option number two is the paid option you can get real steady go which is now incorporated into the GoPro player app I will leave a link in the description down below. If you found this video useful, please do let me know in the comments down below. If you want to learn how to color grade in DaVinci Resolve, a free software, a free LUT included, click this link over here. If you're just getting started in cinematic FPV, click this link down here. It will take you through all the basics of what you need to know if you're just getting started out as a beginner. And that's all from me. I will see you guys all in another video.